Over the top to Butler. Up and in! Jimmy Butler ties the game with a half second to go. What a play call. Milwaukee had a timeout and didn't use it. Jimmy Butler showed off a new look for media day. Jimmy said he's emotional right now after the Miami Heat failed to acquire Damian Lillard. He's now Buck. So this is his new emo look. When asked about the trade that brought Dame to Milwaukee instead of Miami, Jimmy said, I'm more pissed that Dame went to Milwaukee because he went to Adrian Griffin's team. Everybody knows I don't like Adrian Griffin at all since my Chicago days. Jimmy went on to say, I don't tell anybody how I feel. I just handle it accordingly, but I am happy for Dame to be somewhere where he's wanted. He has a chance to win a championship. I'm still going to be me. I'm going to go be Dame, Giannis, and Adrian Griffin on our way to a title. I love that energy. I love that, that mindset from, from Jimmy Butler going into the year. I love that type of and That just gets your boy excited about the season. And for the record, y'all, Adrian Griffin and Jimmy go back, like he said, to the Chicago days. There's no real beef. As a matter of fact, I've heard Jimmy in the past credit Adrian for some of his growth that he's had over the years. But Jimmy's an ultimate competitor. And he wants to beat Dame Giannis and the Milwaukee Bucks, even behind first-year head coach Adrian Griffin. I love that. I love that energy. I'm, I cannot wait to see these two teams face off in the regular season. You know, in NBA land, it's not often that you get excited about regular season matchups nowadays. It's usually all about the playoffs. The only thing I will say, though, is, number one, Jimmy Butler, I'm pissed at you for doing that stupid emo look on media day because... I cover the NBA and I create a lot of content night in, night out. Anybody knows I use obviously the, you know, players updated photos year in, year out that they take on media day. Now I got to sit here and look at this doofus with a perm every night of the darn season that I cover a Miami heat highlight. So thanks Jimmy Butler for that. But number two, I am concerned about Miami though. Seriously though, not only did they not acquire Dame, they also lost guys like Max Struess and Gabe Vincent. They already wasn't a team that just takes the regular season as serious as possible. Let's keep in mind that they had to fight to get in the play in tournament, let alone the playoffs, and then caught Milwaukee not playing good ball, and they beat them, give them credit, and then beat the Knicks. But let's keep in mind, this was a 8 C going into the playoffs, and Chicago, I thought, was going to win that game against the Miami Heat to make the playoffs. Be clear, like, this ain't a team that comes out of the gate firing on all cylinders oftentimes. It takes them a little minute. They don't have the talent to wait around and get it together around February or March. They can't afford to start this year off 17 and 18 or like nine and 12. They don't have the time to do that. They don't have the talent to do that. So we shall see, but I think more than just not acquiring Dame is the fact that it appears that the Miami Heat were all in on acquiring Dame and the moves that they made were to get Dame. And because they didn't get Dame and because the Dame situation in Portland took so long to play out, they didn't really have an off season. They didn't replace losing Max Strews. They didn't replace losing Gabe Vincent. I do like bringing in my ball for life, Josh Richardson, who I think will be a good fit back in Miami, but that ain't enough. And I like Josh, that ain't enough to replace what they lost and Gabe, Struess, and not getting Dame. We shall see. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Why build theirs when I believe I can build my own? You've already done it, or I wouldn't be here. I'm already the only elite sports and music journalist in the game today. My goal is simple, to be the best there's ever been. So, please don't go. Make sure you subscribe and follow the journey. It truly means everything to me. I tell stories, I talk music, I cover sports, I am culture, I am Pharaoh.